Why would you buy a new car and take a huge loss the second you drive it off the lot? When you could just wait a couple of years and get one for 50% off or more. Yeah, our friend Depreciation has you covered because you can get that beautiful, fast, and fresh luxury car for under half what it was new, and it's only gonna be a couple years old. Yep, this list of Lux rides have all lost major value in the first few years, and some cars on this list have lost over six figures. Yeah, over $100,000. And yes, today, I'm gonna be your guide on some extremely good deals. And if you always wanna be in the know of what ideal cars to buy, please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Otherwise, it's great to see you guys again. Let's go. We all know that Maserati makes some really high-end sports cars, but did you know you can get a slightly used five-year-old Italian Mazi for the price of a new Camry? Yeah. That's right, the Maserati Quattroporte is the Italian stallion four-door that you can afford. Just open the door and the interior overflows with leather and fine materials, which is typical of luxury cars at this price point. But what isn't typical? is the engine. It is a screaming 4.7 liter Italian Ferrari V8. Yes, I said Ferrari. And just listen to this thing wail. <laughs> The only thing crazier about this thing is the depreciation, because these things took a huge hit. In 2015, the Quattroporte MSRP started at $148,000. And guess what? In the first five years, it's lost almost 80% of its value. <laughs> That's over a $110,000 loss. And because the owner was some fool and probably some old rich dude, you can buy these with close to no problems and with probably really low miles. But be wary because if problems do arise, you're fixing a $150,000 car. Even though nowadays, you can pick up ones like this gorgeous white Quattroporte with under 60,000 miles for just 39,000 bucks. Let me reiterate, a six-figure Italian sports car for under 40 grand? Sign me up. Who else wants to get one of these? with me. Well, if you do, buy your ideal car like a pro using the ideal car strategies. And I know for some of you that Quattroporte might be a little bit too sports car and not enough luxury. Well, guess what? I got you covered. If you want to take a dip into real luxury, take a look at the BMW 750i. These seven series are no joke. With unmatched ride quality, chic interior with wood and leather throughout, this thing is the top of the line luxury German cruiser. And it should go without saying, but this is not a sports car. This is top tier luxury. And yes, the handling isn't great because it's a boat. Heck, the air suspension will have you plowing through the curves and not in a good way. But if you do a lot of commuting and not a lot of spirited driving, then these make a great option. And these may have one of the best active cruise control options ever. It's so trick, it even works in stop and go traffic. Hey Tesla, and that's a good thing because with the 2015 7 Series, you're getting massaging seats, and those seats might actually put you to sleep. So that cruise control probably is gonna do a lot of work for you. And the prices of these now, you can't even compete with the value they are. Brand new, a top of the line 7 series was over $90,000 MSRP. But thanks to our friend depreciation, we can knock that price all the way down. Like down, down, down. Like check out this gorgeous white 740i for only $26,000 with under 60,000 miles. But that means this Beamer has lost $60,000 in five years. And yet the 7 series is rear wheel drive. And if you need a little bit more traction, it's German competitor is the answer because we're talking about the all-wheel drive Audi A6. It's pretty much the perfect mix of handling, comfort, and luxury. This thing is a workhorse that's trying to fulfill all of your needs. And with that legendary Quattro all-wheel drive system, which we can't forget was developed in the Group B rallying days of the 80s, that was some crazy times. The A6 can handle whatever you throw at it. Curvy road? easy. The Quattro will grip you through those turns. And if you need a quick pull in the rain, the Quattro doesn't let you even spin. And maybe you're headed up to your chateau for the weekend, which is a fancy word for cabin I just found out. The Quattro loves to play in the white stuff. Whatever the case, 
Quattro has your back. It is really hard to find a better all-wheel drive luxury car than an Audi. And with that interior, it's at the crossroad of class and sophistication with wood on the dash and technology that rivals cars twice its price. This Audi was a killer deal new because you could find one fully loaded for roughly 55,000 bucks. But it's depreciated hard because five years later, the A6 has lost 65% of its value. And today you can snag a five-year-old one, which is barely broken in for $30,000 off. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. And heck, here's this gorgeous white Audi A6 Premium Plus for 16K. It's just pure all-wheel drive luxury that's gonna satisfy all your driving needs. And to think, it's as much as a brand new Civic, it's mind boggling. Speaking of Hondas, those luxury Acuras are actually pretty nice deals. So we have one for you guys that you can buy right now. It's the Acura RLX. This flagship luxury sedan has all that VIP car swagger for a fraction of the price, which is kind of the theme here, if you're not catching on. You have a smooth ride, great reliability, and tons of technology. And if you want me to keep going, because I will. It's also got four wheel steering, lane keep assist, a surround view backup camera, and even a 14 speaker sound system. This thing is L-O-A-D-E-D, -E -D, loaded. And this thing is also the ultimate highway cruiser because it has a powerful yet efficient 3.5 liter V6 hybrid engine with 380 horsepower, which come to think of it is more than my 911. What? And that's more than enough power to make you smile while taking this thing on the back roads. However, if you're looking to hypermile, the hybrid engine can even deactivate cylinders to save on fuel, which definitely comes in clutch when you're going on long road trips. But really guys, what I think I like most about the RLX is that it braves its German competitors. And it does this with its laundry list of high-tech options for a very competitive price. Coming in fully loaded at $55,000 brand spanking new, most luxury brands have their base model at that price point. And yet still, luxury cars in general lose a ton of value in the first few years. And the RLX is no different because in five years, it's lost 65% of its value. Yeah another luxury car that's lost over 30K in its first five years. And that's just sad. But what's not sad is that you can find these for under 20K today, like this fully loaded RLX for just $20,000. So if you want reliable luxury, the RLX is your choice. Maybe that's what it stands for, RLX, reliable luxury, I don't know. But what I do know is that if you want a similar deal, grab yourself a Kia K900. I mean, I gotta admit, Kia has been doing a lot of things right lately. And when they dropped the Kia Stinger in 2018, it made waves as a BMW killer for its performance and features. And that was all at a sliver of the price of its competition. And many people thought that was the only car that Kia put out that competed with the luxury big boys. But oh no, back in 2013, they released the K900 with the mission statement of true luxury on a budget. And this luxury car is full of features like digital dash, heads up display, and leather and wood trim plastered around the interior. Like just look at it, isn't it pretty in there? If I didn't know any better, I think that that would be an S-Class Mercedes interior, not something from Korea. And that's not even the best part because the holy grail of this car is the engine. Under the hood is a five liter V8. Yeah a V8 in a Kia. I bet you didn't know that. And on top of that, they made a killer luxury car. But unfortunately, sales never really took off because most people weren't willing to drop $50,000 on a Kia. And so as we learn in Econ 101, supply and demand. If there's a lot of supply and little demand, prices go down. And that's what happened with the K900 because you can find a V8 K900 like this one for just under $19,000, which is a banger deal. And whichever car you drive, you should definitely be wearing this hand-drawn Ideal T, which is available for a limited time up there. Because let's be real, the K900 and a bunch of other cars on this list are competing with the German brand Mercedes. So why not take a look at one like the Mercedes-Benz E-Class. The E-Class has been around for ages as the bridge between luxury and everyday comfort. And it comes in pretty much any flavor that you could ever want. If you want an all-wheel drive wagon, here you go. If you want a coupe with rear-wheel drive, here you go. And if you want to blend in with a sedan, well, they got you covered. But with whatever body style and drive type you choose, know that you're getting pure luxury. I'm talking leather, wood, and luxurious metals everywhere. Plus, lots of safety tech. And it's even got a bunch of commuter features like 
like adaptive cruise control and lane keeping assist. This thing can pretty much drive itself. But if you wanna do some spirited driving, let me tell you, the E-Class stays planted and the V6 engines are more than enough to put a smile on your face. Seriously, taking turns in this thing is actually a blast and it's pretty much effortless. But probably the most surprising thing is its depreciation. The E-Class gets hit hard. And when you're looking for one new, they go for over $60,000 MSRP. And in the first five years of ownership, you're going to lose 60% of that. So yes, according to this graph, the Mercedes has lost nearly $40,000. So you want a used one and you want a good one because the E-Class is a German luxury superstar without the atrocious cost. And here's a deal for the ages. This E-Class sports sedan in a clean brown, which I really like, very German, very European, comes in at right under 19K. So what did we learn? Never, ever, ever buy a brand new luxury car. Because if you buy something like the Maserati Quattroporte, you're gonna lose six figures on the deal. And 65% or more depreciation over the first five years is the norm. So buy them five years old, get the best miles, out of them and I promise you they will put a smile on your face. So which one would you use the ideal car strategies on? The masterful Maserati, the avant-garde Audi, or maybe an E-Class wagon? Let us know down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and if you disliked it, don't just hit the dislike button once, hit it twice. Really let us know. And if you're new here, my name is Brad Danger. Please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Take a look at some of our other ideal content and as always, keep living the ideal lifestyle.